Do you celebrate your achievements? Hi, thank you for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I am your empowered coach, Finda. So I remember my uh, first semester at HAC, which is a community college in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. My English professor told me if I asked me if I can stop by her uh, her office after. She said she just saw a couple of you know red flags that she wanted to run a few tests on me. So I said, okay, I'm down, so they'll run a test on me. So they ran a test, test results came back. She's like, great news. The test result shows that you're dyslexic. I was like, what does that mean? So she told me that just means that you're an auditory learner. You need to hear things in order for you to learn. And she said, the bad news is that People like you tend to grow up to be um, overachievers. I said, oh yeah? She said, the thing is that you're never really gonna be um, satisfied with anything that you accomplish. You're gonna wanna just keep going over and over. So what that made me realize that in life, it's so imperative for you to actually stop and celebrate your tiny achievements because that gives you more of that boost and that, and that um, confidence for you to actually achieve a whole lot more. Uh, a couple of days ago, I remember I felt a little burnt out, much more as in I constantly kept thinking in my mind over and over, I need to do something to actually get more of my sales going for my bigger bottles. I constantly kept focusing on my bigger bottles so much so that I sat down after my whole time of meditating and praying. I said, wait a minute, Finda, you have done so much over this time span of being in quarantine that you're not taking that and actually just, you know, celebrating the victories that you've done from writing your ebook to uh, launching your pre-order and just actually focusing a lot more on social media and learning from those. You're just actually focusing on the fact that you still need to uh, bring your money in for the, the bigger bottles. So after I kind of just took my time and sat back and really started, you know, being grateful for all the things that I have accomplished this um, throughout the whole quarantine season, throughout the year, a lot more clarity came to me over things that I was thinking about, different ideas I should implement. So in closing, what have you actually worked on throughout either the beginning of 2020 or right now over the whole course of the four months being in quarantine that you have not celebrate, that you would need to actually celebrate? We can celebrate together. So let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, if you haven't yet to join me on social media, I am FK Empowered on all platforms. And please feel free to click below so we can actually can subscribe and you can join my uh, Empowered Movement. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week.